In this video, you'll see how to get VMware server information into AWS Migration Hub using the Agentless AWS Discovery Connector. With this feature, you can collect VMware information from your on-premises servers, get Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or Amazon EC2 instance recommendations, and estimate the cost of migrating your servers to AWS. The Agentless Discovery Connector is a VMware appliance that you install in your on-premises VMware environment to quickly assess your infrastructure without having to install anything on the servers themselves. To get started, navigate to AWS Migration Hub and download the connector. Next, select an AWS Migration Hub home region. This setting is required and cannot be changed later. Download the connector. Next, open your VMware vCenter dashboard and log into your account. The Discovery Connector is an Open Virtualization Archive, or OVA, file that you install in your on-premises VMware environment. Navigate to the directory where you want to download the OVA file. With your cluster selected, follow the steps to deploy the Open Virtual Format, or OVF, template. The virtual machine name and location are pre-selected. You can change either of these selections. The destination compute resource has also been pre-selected. Review the template's advanced configuration options and warning message about the advanced configuration settings, and then proceed to the next step. Retain the recommended default settings for storage and networks. Click Finish to deploy the template. The number of VMs has increased by one now that the Discovery Connector VM has finished deploying. Next, locate the connector's IP address and open a new tab. Click Get Started Now and proceed through the AWS Agentless Discovery Connector setup steps. On the Log Uploads and Upgrades page, make sure both boxes are checked. Configure your vCenter credentials. Note that you can edit these settings at any time. Your AWS account or AWS Identity and Access Management account must be configured to use the AWS Agentless Discovery Service policy. In this example, the policy is already configured. Go to the policy to get the required keys. If you need to create a secret access key, you can do that here. Make note of the keys and return to the Discovery Connector setup to enter them. Next, select your AWS region and click Next to complete setup. Now let's return to AWS Migration Hub and start data collection. The connector has now started. Next, navigate to Applications. With Applications, you can group servers together to track their migration and status more easily. Let's create an application that groups WordPress servers. Navigate to Servers and select the WordPress servers. Group these servers as an application. Next, select the application we just created and add the servers. Return to Applications to see the updated grouping. You can change the migration status for this application when server migration is in progress or completed. Migration status is automatically updated for servers migrated using AWS Cloud Endure. Next, let's take a look at one of the WordPress servers. The AWS Discovery Connector gathers detailed information on each virtual machine. You can find information about the hardware, OS, VM, and performance. All of this data is assessed and used to give you EC2 instance recommendations that fit your specific needs. You can adjust your sizing and instance type preferences. You can also exclude EC2 instance types from the recommendations. You have granular control over what you exclude. 
You can exclude entire instance types or instance families, or specific instance types within each family. When everything is how you want it, export your recommendations. The CSV file includes the recommended EC2 instance model for each of your servers. If you selected the reserved pricing model in your instance type preferences, you'll see the upfront cost for the contract term and payment option you selected. If you selected on-demand pricing, you'll see the hourly price for each instance model. You've just seen how to get VMware server information into AWS Migration Hub using the Agentless AWS Discovery Connector. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.